What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ryan Pineda Show where we talk all things real estate, business, and entrepreneurship. And today we're gonna do one of my very favorite strategies, especially for new real estate beginners. And that strategy is the house hack. So what is a house hack? A lot of people have heard the term, but they don't really know what it is. And essentially, it is just renting out different parts of your house to subsidize your mortgage or your rent payment. So a lot of the house hacks you would see are for people in college. They all go partner up, get a house together, and then they just chop up the rent between. So my first experience with a house hack was actually in college. Me and three of my other baseball teammates went to go rent an apartment together. I was playing baseball in Northridge, California, where it's super expensive, especially for college kids. A two bedroom apartment was $1,600, and it wasn't even nice, it was a piece of crap. So I got me and three other guys to go and rent that $1,600 apartment. Now you're probably wondering, well, there was only two bedrooms and you got four guys. How are you guys doing that? We put two guys in each bedroom. We were actually sharing bedrooms. It seems crappy to think about it now, but when we were 18 years old, we didn't know any better. And it was literally the only way we could afford to live there. We took a $1,600 a month payment and made it $400 per person. We had utilities and everything on top of that, but in the end, $500 a month basically isn't too bad. And I did that every year of college. My sophomore year, we ended up renting a three bedroom house for $2,000. We did the same thing. The payments were about the same, but it was much better living conditions. And then my junior year, we went back to a two bedroom apartment and this time it was $2,000 a month. So it came out to $500 a person plus utilities and all that. So throughout college, I was very experienced with the house hack as far as our rent goes. When I got out of college and I was playing professional baseball, I still wasn't making very much money. I was a late round draft pick, so my signing bonus was very small. I was still only making $1,200 a month in the months that we were playing. So over six months, it was about $7,000 a year. So obviously I wasn't making a lot of money. I actually lived the first year at my parents' house after I got drafted. But during that year, I got exposed to real estate for the first time. I was 21 years old and I actually was a realtor. So I had learned the market, I learned how to buy and sell homes, and I actually ended up teaming up with my cousin on buying my very first house when I was 22 years old. Him and I went in on it together we are partners 50 50 and we bought this house right here for $160,000 now you're looking at it and you're like man the house is worth $350,000 well we didn't keep it. You can make the argument that we should have, but you know, houses were so cheap at that time, it was crazy. I don't even think we got a good deal on it at 160, but everything you bought was a good deal. You could not go wrong buying during that time. So we ended up getting an FHA loan on that house, lived in it, and our payment was about 1200 bucks a month. We did some small renovations and made it a five bedroom home. Now remember, I had lived the last three years of my life with roommates, even in the same bedroom. So renting out other bedrooms wasn't a big deal to me. So I ended up giving him the master bedroom because I wasn't there the whole time. I was out playing baseball for six months out of the year. He lived there full time. I took the downstairs bedroom and then we had the other three bedrooms to rent out. We went and got three of our good friends and rented each bedroom out for about $400 a month. Now, if you do the math, our mortgage payment was only 1200 bucks. We get three roommates at 400 a piece. Boom, we just covered our full mortgage payment. Now remember, we still have utilities, we still have maintenance costs, but because of the house hack, we pretty much eliminated our full mortgage payment and got to live for free. The other added benefit was when you're paying down a mortgage, you're also gaining equity. So our roommates were helping us gain equity in the property and helping us live for free. The other beautiful part about it was since they were our friends, we were young 21, 22 year olds, let's just say we had a lot of fun. I wouldn't say it was similar to a frat house because those guys are crazy, but we had quite a few parties. We had a good time. It was definitely a bachelor pad. And I have a lot of great memories at that house because that was where I learned to be a realtor and a real estate investor. That was where I was starting my baseball career. And I was just a 22 year old kid just trying to figure out life. I also met my future wife while we were living there. And that is part of the reason why we sold it. We had lived in that arrangement for about two years, house hacking it with our friends. And after two years, I got engaged to my wife now. So I went to my cousin Travis and I said, hey man, you know, <laughs> we're not gonna be able to house hack and have me be married in this house. We need to sell. Also at the time, we were both pretty much broke. <laughs> So we needed to tap into that equity and cash out. So we sold it two years later for 215,000. We only owed about 150,000, so we both got a good chunk of cash back. 
and that helped us both start out our lives in a good way. I had some money to start off our marriage. He had some money to go start off some other things that he wanted to do. It was a great thing. And it was only possible because of house hacking. If we couldn't house hack, there was no way we could afford the $1,200 a month mortgage without really stressing and all those things. But the house hack allowed us to do that. It allowed us to prosper. It allowed us to get to where we are today. So that's my experience with house hacking. And you guys can do the same. If you're trying to rent a house, you should try and get roommates. Drive your price down even if you don't like living with roommates. I'm lucky because I enjoyed living with roommates. I enjoyed the camaraderie. I enjoyed all the fun we had. But if you don't, suck it up and live with them for a few years. It'll help you save up money so that you can go get your own place eventually. If you're buying your first house, you can look at multiple ways to house hack. If you get a multifamily unit that's a duplex, triplex, fourplex, you can go rent out all the other units and pretty much pay for your unit for free. It's the same principle that we used for bedrooms, but you can use them for full units then you don't necessarily have all these roommates. So multifamily is a great way to house hack when you're starting out. Another great way is to look for properties with converted garages or separate entrances. If you don't really wanna interact with the people that you're renting to, you can look for houses with casitas. If you live in places where there are a basement, you could put them in the basement. My point is there's a lot of ways to house hack. The list goes on and on. I know some of my wealthy friends today who still house hack. They just can't look at a bedroom and see it vacant and empty and have no purpose when they know that they can monetize it. So they go rent it out to a roommate. It's funny because our office manager actually lives in the casita of one of our realtors who actually owns over 100 plus units. So even our realtor who owns all those units can't resist house hacking because he sees the money there. And our office manager loves it. He gets to live in a prime location in his own space for a great price. It's just a win all the way around. So I am a huge advocate of house hacking. I think it can help you get into your first property. I think it can help you live for cheaper. I think it can help you build wealth. I think it can help you save money. There are so many great parts of house hacking. There is a new way of house hacking that wasn't available when I was doing it in college and that's through Airbnb. You can live in your current house and go rent out bedrooms on Airbnb. That will be more profitable than anything else you do. But then you also have a totally new stranger living with you every night, so I don't know how much I would feel comfortable doing that, but you will definitely make more money doing it that way. What I'm actually doing on one of my properties in Big Bear is I converted the garage to a totally separate unit. We gave it a little kitchen, we built a bedroom, its own little living room, and we made it its own unit on Airbnb. Then you have the main house, which already had all of its stuff. So now I turned one house with a garage into two cash flowing units. So to me, when I bought that property, it was like I was getting two properties for the price of one. And that is basically a house hack. So get creative, guys. I'm sure I haven't even thought of all the different ways you can do it. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you guys are house hacking or what ways I missed. And if you got great value out of this video and you liked it, please make sure you go and hit that like button hit the subscribe button and make sure you follow me on all the socials. And if you have any questions about how I'm doing this or how you can do it, make sure you comment below. I'll love to answer your questions and help you out. So get out there and house hack guys. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video and thank you for supporting this channel. If you wanna get into real estate investing and you don't know where to begin, I want you to go to futureflipper.com. You can find it in the link below. Over there, we have a ton of different resources and products, no matter what your skill level is, no matter what your budget is, we can definitely help you out and point you in the right direction. We've got a ton of free resources for you guys. You can download my contracts for free. You can get my book for free. You can go to our Facebook group for free. The opportunities are endless. If you're really ready to take it to the next level, you can buy my online course, or you can even be coached directly by me. I love working with all my students and helping them get to the next level. If you're not sure what to do, just go to futureflipper.com and apply now. My membership director will get in touch with you and figure out what's the best program for you, whether it's free or not. Everyone's at a different spot in their life, so even if it's a free product, we're gonna tell you what we think is best for you right now. So go check it out, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.